Yo, turn the shit down, bro. Huh? Just turn it down. No. Turn it down. Just, copyright, bro. Oh, copyright. My bad, my bad. Yeah, bro. Oh, shit. Uh, what's going on? What's going on, guys? Bradley Martin here. I'm hyped as fuck. That guy stuck his hand out the top of his car. I don't know why he did that, though. Maybe he but, does, you. Yeah. Maybe he does. Yeah. Anyways, it's my bad side, but fuck it, I'm going hard today. Um, what are we hitting today? Shoulders and arms, arms and shoulders, arms and arms, arms, arms and arms, triceps, biceps and arms. Yeah, bro, you're doing that. Biceps. Both my bicep muscles, by, by one, by two, and then tricep, the tri, three, the three of the three, because it's three muscles in a tricep. So you're gonna do triceps, but you're gonna do more like, what's a, what's six? Six steps? Six steps, and then biceps, which is, and then, and then but there's four together. So quad steps. Quad steps. Quad steps and boom. boom. We gotta find out the Decepticons. word. Decepticons. That's not, not triceptic. Triceptacons. There you go. Anyways, what, what's the transform? What's the actual transform? What's the good side? Decepticons. Fuck. Why am I blanking on this? Decepticons and what? Help me out, bro. For the internet, fucking, they're gonna hang me. Hexacon. They're, they're not the good hexacon. What the fuck, Kev? <laughs> oh my god, they hate you for this. Decepticons. It's gotta be like Meg no Megatron is the guy. Oh. That's the main guy. Bumblebee. Bro, tuna. <laughs> <laughs> no, really though. I don't Bumblebee's know. Bumblebee's a buff. Bro, stop. Make it fast. They're not actually, but like it started way before that movie. It was like a comic. Anyways. Uh Decepticons. Dude, this is so bad that I can't Yeah, I know this is annoying. It's fucking annoying. And then, what are the good people? They're for sure. That's yeah. what I'm trying to figure out. It's like Decepticons and the fucking Comment below. Comment below. Though that's embarrassing, dog. Yeah. They're gonna they're, oh my god. They're gonna hate me for this shit. Also, RIP to uh, fucking Princess Leia, man. I just wanna throw that out there. Princess what? Leia, she died. Oh, when? She just died recently. Fuck, She died. Dude. Um, Did she get to see the movie? Bro, don't joke about this. this you can't make jokes about this. She actually did die. I'm, I'm, I'm being serious. Yeah, I'm being serious too. So, she was in the movie. You Rogue One, you mean? Did she see that? Yeah. Probably, I don't know. But um, I just want to say real quick, like RIP, because like she's a legend. Yeah. And also, oh, she, um, besides being like Princess Leia, Carrie Fisher, she was a, a, a big like proponent of like mental illness. Like she, meaning like she kind of like, yeah, because she dealt with it. So she was like, a, she was helping other people deal with it. And, and that's like big ups for that. So we got to show love for that. That's, I'm not saying Star Wars is not important because it's very important. Uh, and it's like obviously a huge part of my life, my childhood, Kevin as well. Uh, I just want to throw that out there though, RIP. But anyways, it's like it's weird to be hype after that. So now I would like, maybe we should just cut it and okay. be hype for the next scene. Okay, sounds good. All right, we'll see you guys. Right. Try and pull up on me. I'm, bro, what's going on? I'm on Twitter. I'm on Twitter all day long. So if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, you gotta follow me on Twitter. Look, do it. This is a plug, bro. Where's the plug? Just follow me on Twitter, I'm on that bitch all day long. Anyways. Um, so we got to the gym finally. I'm still fucking hyped. What, why are we going this way? Oh, because the music? Because yep. Quavo's trying to fuck our shit up? Yeah. Motherfucker. Anyways, yeah, I'm about to start rap beef right now. Mm. Fuck Quavo, bro. I'm Soldier Boy right now. Like, well, I need a gun. I need to, like, go over. You know, he, you know, he went to, uh, he got, like, locked up for a few days because his dumb ass was, like, pointing a gun at the. Anyways, I, I'm on the internet way too much. I know too way much too about much. everything. Like, that's how you know I'm on Twitter all day long is because yeah. I know all kinds of random shit. Yeah, I know stuff about like Russia and like shit that's going on, like politics. Weird shit, dude. I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, no. What are we hitting today? No, I knew your question. It's because I read things. It was gonna be like, are we gonna can we do CrossFit? And the answer was no. But we are doing a, a, an overhead press, which is a, is a movement in a lot of CrossFit stuff. So shoulders and then what? Arms. This one? Uh, yeah, mainly just this one. That's the only one you're gonna see on camera. Oh. Because it's how it goes. Okay. Um, overhead press, I want to talk about this real quick before I get into it. I'm just going to do three sets. Uh, this is my weakest movement. Hands down, the weakest. Like the weakest movement of all time for me. So, overhead press. And it has been forever. Um, it's okay if it's a weak movement for you um, because it's really not that important. It's not the bench press. And no one says, how much you overhead press, bro? Or how much you. No one asks you that. So, it's like, if you're not that strong here, it's fine. You still bench more than the other guy. So, fuck that guy. But the point is, when you're doing the overhead press, jokes aside, make sure you keep your body real tight from the floor up. So understand that, from the floor up. So like, plant your feet even. These are, these, show them the shoes one more time. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, um, plant your feet even, 
Keep like your weight maybe a little bit to the middle of your foot, to the back of your heel, squeeze your glute real hard. It's strict press. I'm gonna do strict presses, right? So I'm not gonna do like the CrossFit version, the push press version. I, it's not even a CrossFit version. This push press has been along before, way before. Okay, Olympic. Olympic. Stop giving me a play, bro. I know, sorry. Anyways, the point is, for this, strict press, three sets, as many reps as possible, from the floor up, tight from the floor. So like, almost like you should be planted, not just like standing and loose. Because that's gonna like, you're loose, loosey-goosey, it's not a good thing, it's gonna hurt your lower back, okay? No loosey-goosey, tidy, righty, righty, tidy, no loosey-goosey, okay. lefty-loosey, anyway, that's how like, anyways. So if you guys be like, what the fuck are you doing? So <clears throat> if you guys can't hold the bar like that, it's fine. You gotta work on your flicks, your wrist mobility. This, I'll show you one thing to do that. In case you guys are like, hey, I wanna be able to do that, try this, okay? Watch out for a sec. This is how you're gonna like get your flexibility. Right? Fingertips against the mirror. Alright, 15 seconds, three, four times a day on both sides to get better wrist mobility. The only other mobility that you need is in your lats. Okay? So Stretch your lats out like that. All right, so wrist lats, you should be able to get the bar back here. You should be able to get that where I was, where I had <coughs> a little sick, no, not sick, just allergies. Um, where the bar is sitting back here on my clavicle. If not, it's fine. Just do a regular strict press. Um, it's also harder the way I did. So to start from here, because you have to press it, you just have to press it out, you have to like gather it, press it out and up. But for you guys, if you can't get that motion, it's fine. Just do it here. I'll do my next set this way. You guys can do your whole set, your all three sets like this. It's fine. I'm not going to go. Um, key points besides from the floor up, gathering, staying tight. Um, keep the weight. If you're in the position that I just showed you, the second one, where you're up, and up like this, keep the weight over your elbow. So either way, once you start pressing it, you, you should be able to keep the weight over your elbow, but that should be a focus point. So I think you're pressing here. Right, versus like some, you might, you want to stay like this. And most people won't really do that because they don't have the mobility. But most people will, I've seen them in the gym and they'll do this. Right, and that makes it, makes it a lot harder on your upper chest. And it doesn't, it doesn't get as much on your shoulder. So try and keep the weight in your hand here, over your elbow as you press up. Okay, that's, that's really, that's it, three sets. A minute rest in between even though I didn't rest at all because there's no rest for the wicked, and I'm wicked. What band wrote that song? Do you know, Kev? Nope. Embarrassed, embarrassed. I feel embarrassed for you. Why? I bet you they don't know either. Yeah. Some of them do, I know for sure some of them do know. But uh, maybe not all of them, we'll see. Are you gonna tell us? Yeah, well I'm not gonna tell you, they're gonna tell us. All right. Yeah. Why not? I don't know.
Yeah. All right, so. Try to trick me, bro? I was telling you to relax. Oh, high five. Because last time you almost broke it. Almost you. broke my knee, yeah. Yeah. Um, so for the upright rows, I actually like. For the whole. Yeah, who are the upright rows for? Okay. Upright rows for my bros. Hey. Because. What was that Drake line? Anyways. Um, upright rows. I don't know how I feel about them as a movement. Kevin, it was Kevin's idea. Yeah. Uh, I haven't done them in like. At least four months. How did it feel? It felt good, but I, I swear it's more of a like a trap exercise, upper back, yeah, than a shoulder exercise. Mm -hmm. So you can use them because obviously, if you guys are trying to build your shoulders, it is still essential to like like if you want to look bigger. I think one of the most important parts on your body, like to look bigger, is your traps and the and the width of your shoulders. Yeah. So Which is we're gonna point. you know. So this is definitely good for trap thickness um, and depending if you could like move the weight a certain way lighter probably the better to like really hit your shoulders harder because um, I think you mostly hit your shoulder because like all this movement this is mostly trap stuff especially yeah. as the weight kind of bounces yeah. but like the movement like through here yeah. is gonna be a lot of shoulders so if you have a lighter weight I mean if you did a set where you're just kind of in here yeah. you bet you would like fuck your shoulders but it still gets your traps so it's a cool movement um, I'll go a little more up in weight but same thing as before I'm just gonna do three sets, as many as possible, and then get into some like direct tricep work because you guys know that that's like basically my kryptonite. Because I'm Superman. You're not Superman, bro. Bro, I didn't tell you. When what? You, you, you just you just found out. Sorry, Kev. Can you fly? Yeah, bro. Watch. All right, all right. Go, go, go. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys something different. Probably never done this before. So like I was saying earlier. Besides the upright row hitting your traps, in between, you don't have to, but I'm gonna follow this exercise directly after. You have to, tell me you have, you have to. to. You have to, you there definitely you have to. Um, we're gonna do four sets. This is gonna be as many reps as possible. All these exercises are. And remember, it's not about the most amount of weight. Shoulders, not about the most amount of weight. Your shoulder is one of the most delicate muscle, like, yeah. not, I wasn't the most delicate muscle, because muscles are delicate, but you definitely have the highest chance of injuring yourself. Well, your knees too. Yeah. But shoulders and knees are like, and hips. And hips. So, the biggest, yeah, anyways. Knees and point toes, is, knees and toes. Point is, like, overhead stuff really has, like, a chance of fucking you up if you do it wrong with too much weight, right? Um, so, don't always worry about the weight when it comes to shoulders. Just try and get a good fucking pump. And then movements that really matter, like, you know, bench press, whatever. Then you focus on weight. You're a little more, you're a little more safe in that position, okay? Um, but this is going to be a movement you've probably never done before. It's basically, like, uh, it's a variation of a row and a raise with a barbell, okay? So I'm gonna try and keep my, this like this angle, I'm gonna try and keep the same all the way throughout, okay? So I'm gonna try and keep my elbow in the same position and I'm gonna try, I'm gonna basically like row up but also do a lateral, right? So I'm kind of going like this. Yeah, hybrid movement. Yeah. Um, and the key too, if you guys are advanced, right? If you're not, just, just do what you think you should do when you're watching me. And if you guys can understand what I'm doing here, I'm like, my lats are kind of flared, okay? So if you know how to flare your lats, start with the movement with your lats flared. Like, it's gonna keep it, because if you, if your lats get unflared, right? Your lats are gonna go, they're gonna, they're gonna like basically like, uh, retract, right? They're unflared, right? They're flared, they're like, they're pressed out like this. And it makes it really hard for your body to use the traps and like movements, okay? But if they're relaxed, like what'll happen is you'll start to go like this. And you'll start to use your traps. All right, see my, see my lats? Right now, right? Yeah. Versus like my last flared. Oh, yeah. Then you're able to like, you're, you're able to kind of take your traps out of the movement as much as possible. Pretty crazy. Okay? Weird shit, huh? Yeah. I'm like, a, I'm like, a, like, a, like a cobra. Cobra? That's what I was, <laughs> I thought you were Superman. <laughs> I thought you were Superman. Stop, bro. Yeah, where am I? <laughs> Get out of here. Bitch ass. Bro, you thought. <laughs> Fuck you. Hold on. No, dude. Eminem, what's that? Okay. Got it. Like this. Easy.
Get the mirror. Huh? We'll do it again. Feels so good. Yeah? Yeah. Oh yeah. Feels great. So try your best. Try your best to keep your lats flared as you do the movement. It'll feel really fucking awkward, but your shoulders will thank you later. Um just like when that album came out, Jake's album was like thank me later because it was so good. True. Yeah. And if you're reading this it's too late, which is basically like, you know, for all the chump bitches and all the other punk ass rappers, if you're reading it, it's too late because I already put the shit out and it's gonna kill you. True. Just like half the shit I do, I think. True. Because I'm Drake. I know. But you're Meek Mill. Bro, you, you're Weak Mill. You're Drake, you're Cobra, you're Superman, you gotta fucking take one, dude. You're, bro, I'm Drake. You're Weak Mills. Some, Why is he still taking L's? It's almost 2017. Yeah, but he's still making money. Yeah, he is. Fuck it. He's still a rapper. But, straight up. This is a serious question, guys. Who do you think took the biggest L in 2016? So it's like, you know, 3 and 1, Warriors. Um, who else we got? Soldier Boy, Trump. Uh, Clinton. Uh, who else? There's a bunch of people. But who do you guys think took the biggest L in 2016? I want to know. I need to know. And actually, sorry, we're also going to include in that list Kevin. Sorry, bro. I think you're the one. I think they're going to vote for you. You know what this stands for? You know what it stands for? What? This is a K. See, look. Uh. <laughs> oh, you lost. Sorry. It's Bye. okay, bro. Bye. Whatever. So, lateral raises. Same thing as before, as many reps as possible. Um, the only difference here is the weight is going to be super, super light. The weight should not be heavy. I want you guys to do your best to keep the, like the, the, the range of motion the same all the way throughout every set, every rep, and try and keep it in the same path. So the whole time, like, try not to do this. Cause, like, as you fail, and I tend to do this as well, as people fail, they start to do stuff like this, where like they'll go like this and they'll pull backwards like this. Try and keep it the same range of motion. Whatever you start, try and stay it all the way throughout. And just do as many reps as possible, and go right to your other side. Um, and then take a rest. So I actually fucked this up, because I should've went right from here, right to this side, and then took a rest. And remember, one more tip, make sure you guys start on your weak side first. And I didn't do that as well, so I'm really fucking up here. That's okay. your fault. That's your fault. Bro, I'm not Superman. You are. Fuck. Well, well, bro, look. Let's just do take it the kryptonite. I keep in my pocket. Yeah, Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So, oh, perfect. All right. Are you good now? All right. Okay, so dips are probably hands down like my favorite shoulder and tricep exercises. Wow. Yeah, you're and stability, good. and stability, because to do this motion, this motion, like there's a lot more than just like shoulders and triceps and chest, whatever. Like your body has some maintaining stability, especially if you start increasing weight or putting girls on your shoulder. Um, stability, and the thing about the stability is going to translate into other like overhead presses, bench press, all that stuff. So this is a phenomenal exercise, and I believe dips are super underrated. 
don't think people enough do it. I don't think enough people do them as often as they should. And uh, that's part of this routine. I agree. Yeah. You should probably do another set. I'm gonna do four more sets. Like and I'm gonna take a minute rest. See how I did that? It's been a minute. No, it just hasn't. 30 seconds? About, just 30 seconds now. Okay, right. so go in 30 seconds. Okay. Right. I'll just go right away. Oh, shit. Because uh, we got rid of that kryptonite. Ah. Alright, Kev, get on my back. Because you're a pro, you know? Ah. See what I did there? Or just get on my back, anyways. You're good, bro. You get someone to get on my back. Five for real, bro. I'm keeping my arms frosty, man. Gotta bro, stay frosty. Bro, 25 I'm waiting for, for a machine. Bro. 25 for real, dude. No, I know, I know, but I'm just keeping them warm. I'm waiting for a machine over there. So, a machine. The bicep machine. I appreciate it, bro. Yeah. Gotta keep them frosty, bro. Huh? Gotta stay, gotta stay warm. That's important too. When you guys are working out, try to take less breaks yeah. between exercises. You know, maybe you're on your phone or whatever. You're with a friend or something. Well, do your best to stay warm. I, I mean, the reality is you're gonna get a way better pump. Like just, I swear. So if you want a better pump, which, if you, I mean, that's like asking you, like, you want to be alive. Yeah. Then the answer is always yes. It's like if you want to make gains or not. Yeah. If you want a better pump. You want to make gains. Then you stay frosty. And by frosty, I mean warm. So the opposite of frosty. Because if you got frosty warm, you would melt. Warmy. Warmy. Yeah. It's kind of corny, but whatever. Fuck it, bro. Fuck it. But my point is, I'm just staying warm. I'm gonna hit my next exercise. It's gonna be a bicep movement. And then I'm gonna go back to triceps again because we know that we just got a love-hate relationship. True. Me and especially this side. Yeah. You wanna show them this side? Nope. Kevin knows. I'm gonna give you two sandwiches this month. Hey, let's go. Oh, oh, one more thing, guys. Um, I'm gonna do something special for you guys in the new year. What is it? Bro, I can't, I'm not gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell them before I tell you. How, how are you gonna tell them? Through YouTube? Who's gonna film it? Through YouTube? Through Snapchat, through Twitter, always first through Twitter. Twitter always gets everything first because that's my go-to app. Twitter. Away, I'm like straight on it because it's really simple. And then, then I'd say from there it goes from Twitter to Snapchat to Instagram stories at the same time. And then like Instagram if it's like if I'm really gonna post it. But I have a surprise. True. And it has to do with the gym. Wow. Yeah. And it has to do with the plane flight. Oh my God. It, fuck you too, bitch. <laughs> hey, come here. I'm gonna introduce you to YouTube. Tell me your name. My name is Max. I lost 65 pounds in the lean bulk. Are you, and... no, you fucking with me. <laughs> you fucking dickhead. Come here, no, for real. Hey, tell me. I got you, bro. So tell them who you are. Where, where? My name is Mauricio. Yeah. I'm uh, Bradley's uh, Salvadorian friend. Yep. Hey. Uh, yep. Bradley wants to be Salvadorian hardcore. What? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> no, but he's, he's, always, he's always here, and he's always here. This is like, this is like nah, squad who's like really in the gym. You guys are going to my gym, right? There you go. Sure. They're loyal. How much are you gonna pay them though? Uh, uh, I'm gonna pay them to be members so I have members in the gym. <laughs> Otherwise, there'll be no one in that bitch. Where's the family discount? Uh, so, yeah, these are the homies right here. So, when you guys come to the gym and visit, you'll probably see them there. Because uh, I legit, I'm not playing. Every time I come to this gym to film, they're here. Doesn't matter what time. AM, okay. PM, doesn't matter. I think they stalk me. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty easy to find you. It is. <laughs> Come find me. So if you want to know where I am, yeah, because I, I am on that shit all day, Snapchat, all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So all the haters, you know where to find me. If you got some, you know, you want to talk to me about something? Come find me. I'm here. So you know where to find me. I'm in this bitch, and I'll be at my gym most of the time, so you know exactly where to find me. Because I'll put the address in the link below. Because I want you guys to be there. The Plus Addy? the haters. I want the haters to be there too. But I'm not gonna put the address yet. Because right. we still gotta paint the walls. I don't want people going in there and like this is wack as shit. The walls aren't painted. Make sure you um, got toilet paper too, okay? Oh, God, it's like you're really stretching it here, bro. Fuck, man. Yeah. Sandwiches, that's pretty much the only thing you suggest. Anyways, we're going to get the bicep. Tell me your name. Johnny. 
This is when you last time at the village, bro. I know, but this is like this is, a, this, is a, this is like a legit video this time. It's not a it's not a vlog this time. It's not a vlog. What's see? this one? I, see, look at he's doing this raw too. No straps. No, I wear straps. If, and no, I wear straps. Wear chalk? Chalk? on my wrist. You didn't even got chalk? I forgot to chalk at home. Damn. My gym, I have chalk. Don't even worry. You're I'm waiting on it, bro. Thanks, bro. I hit up Brandon. I said, let me know. I'm there. Hell yeah. We're strong out here. Squad is really strong out here. Like this is legit as fuck. Can't complain, bro. Make good quality clothing. Oh, you didn't have to. You're not gonna lie to him for me, but I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Obviously, this shit is. I mean, it's icy, you know. Low key, like it's made out of gold, right? Yeah. Like gold. You know, they have like fabric gold. Fabric gold. That's a new thing. It's from China. I flew over there myself to to find it. Thanks, bro. Brought it back here. Now it's a new thing in America. <laughs> It's not though, it's just really nice. It's like tri blend, like stretchy, like four way fabric. It's nice. Tri blend, like with triceps. Dog. You don't have jokes ever, Kevin. I have jokes, bro. Don't All try day. because when you talk, they're like, Kevin, tell him to shut the fuck up and stop like, making Kevin's jokes. So funny. No, really. Have you read the comments? They're like, bro, Kevin, shut up. <laughs> Shut up, bro. Dude, come on, man. I'm just saying. I'm saying what they're saying. Yeah. I'm just. I'm. I'm the voice of the people, and the people they're telling me, That's Kevin. All right, my bad, my bad. Uh, what's that though? Over there? Uh. Okay, bro. I know Don't you're doing this. Wh Can't hear you, bro. What? <laughs> Wait, it's new exercise. Yeah, it felt good. It was like shoulders and biceps at the same time. Um, I feel that, bro. Machine's not open. I'm going to show you guys a trick. A secret. What's the Serious, it's a secret bicep movement. I'll show you. Come on. Yo. You need this? Yeah, I need that. I need that. Oh, you're still filming? Yeah. Bro. Oh shit, I was trying to make this up. No, I'm kidding. Oh, come here. Like this. What is this? It's like a partial rep. I think it's too much weight. God. Okay, so the point is this. You guys don't have to do it on this machine. The point is the range of motion rep. Do it on a machine, right? So if you want to do it on like a low cable pulley like that, it's fine. You want something controlled and you don't want the weight super heavy. The idea is it's gonna be like a three-part set. So that's one part, two part, three part, and then that's one. Okay, what I'm doing is just a smaller range of motion, shorter range of motion, focus on just really squeezing with the, my palms closed, and I'll do the same thing with my palms open. And then I'll do the same thing, palms closed again, but then full range. So wherever you do it, you can do it on a preacher curl, that's a machine, um, like with the cable, or most of the gyms you guys might be in just have like a regular plate loader one, it's fine. Or like a low cable pulley, uh, hammer style. The point is, you can go from closed, short range of motion, open hand, short range of motion, like so here to here, and then go full range of motion, closed, and that's one, 30 seconds. And if you have to, drop the weight a little bit, but keep going. So it is to keep going fast. What are you telling, bro? I'm gonna tell me this is the last exercise in the routine, and <clears throat> as of the last, like I'd say, six months, that's been a staple in my routine. Yes. Um, yeah, the, the arm blaster. So if you guys don't have one of these, it's fine. If you guys want one, get them from my site. Um, but if you don't have one, just do something. I showed you guys this in a video before, but in case you didn't watch that video, right? Because that happens sometimes on YouTube. It's okay. You don't watch all my videos. I still love you. Still squat. Get something that can support your arms, right? So if you're not gonna do a standing um, curl, finish with a movement that you can really control, right? So, because when you're in this position, 
you're able to control the weight a lot better, right? Because you're not there's no swinging, right? Your shoulders are not pivoting forward or backwards, so you can get a really good contraction on your bicep. Um, <clears throat> so with that being said, try and get a movement like a preacher curl, something where you're stationary. If you want to try to mimic this as much as possible, I suggest something standing. So um, what can work is if you get a bench and you shoot it straight up and you kind of like get a barbell. Uh, you, you, although you have to get like a further, like you have to bring your elbows in like this on top of the bench. What else would be easier to do that? Um, Putting a girl right here? Yeah, have someone stand in front of you. Or like have your weaker friend, because he's weaker, like stand in front of you. So for me, it'd be Kevin, like stand in front of me, and then like it would basically, the bar would hit him. That would look really weird. Don't do that. That's, That's a really bad idea. Really bad idea. Yeah. Um, just get one of these. It's not that bad. Actually, I think these are sold out right now. Fuck. Actually, they're going to be back. Soon. Actually, probably when this video, no, nah, I'm gonna be back in like two days from this video or three days from this video. But um, if you can't, that's fine. Just finish with a fucking weight that you can control without doing this a lot. Because, like, people, when they start, the weight starts to get heavy, people start to go like this. So they start to throw the shoulders back, they start to throw the shoulders forward. Where you can stay as stationary as possible and keep the contraction on the bicep as many reps as possible. And that's it. So, I'm gonna finish out here. Um, we're gonna take some photos for the gram. And for the thumbnail. And I'm gonna edit the fuck out of it. They're gonna be so edited. Photoshop. Like, oh, whole shit's Photoshop, lights, so people are like, whatever. Uh, yeah, that's it. One more thing to think about. Same thing like we did the overhead press. If you're gonna do this movement, try and gather yourself on the floor up. So like, stick yourself on the floor. Like, I know it sounds weird. Basically like, get a firm foot placing and kind of press your heels through the ground and squeeze your glute. And that'll keep you real stable. So when you're doing the movement, again, the least amount of movement as possible in your body to keep the most amount on your biceps. So, that's it. That's it.